Hey guys, welcome to Technologetic today, where we're going to be looking at all the different types of video connectors, adapters, etc. Let's get right into it. So let's just first look at VGA, um, commonly defined by these 15 pins, two screws, and a blue colour. Uh, VGA is an analog signal, so that means it's not digital. VGA max resolution really depends on your video card. However, the higher resolution that you get to, um, the more the signal quality degrades. And so, if you did a really huge resolution, if your graphics card supported that, you might find that the quality might not be as good as if you did a lower resolution. And that was strange. VGA has 15 pins, and that's all about VGA. So let's look at DVR, which is commonly defined by, once again, the two screws. The amount of pins that I'm not sure about, 9, 18, 19 pins and the white colour. So let's see what, what's special about it. So DVR max resolution is 3840 by 2400, 17Hz for single link or 33Hz for dual link. Dual link is just a more extensive type of DVR which can carry um, higher resolution signals. DVR stands for digital video interface so it carries digital signals. DVR also carries analog signals in this one pin just here. So it can be converted to VGA just with adapters, not with expensive converters. DVI can also easily convert to HDMI because they're both digital. So HDMI looks like this. While that do too when I only press one time. HDMI max resolution is 38 or 3840 by 2160 at 24Hz, 25Hz or 30Hz and it's 4096 by 2160 at 24 Hz. HDMI is capable of carrying both video and audio. HDMI is a digital signal. HDMI can easily convert to DVI. So display port. This is what it looks like here. Just the normal display port. DisplayPort max resolution is 2560 by 1600 at 120Hz, which is 3D. So if we um, halve the 120Hz to 60Hz, it becomes 5030 no, 5020 by 3200 um, at 60Hz. And I think if you div divide that by 2 again, 30Hz, then it time the resolution doubles again, but I'm not sure. DisplayPort has 20 pins and is capable of carrying both video and sound. However, most common DisplayPorts at the moment only carry video. DisplayPort is a digital signal and DisplayPort has a smaller physical counterpart called Mini DisplayPort which is used on most Mac hard or all Mac hardware at the moment, iMacs, etc. Um, and you can also get graphics cards which have Mini DisplayPort on it, so with the size that um, of DVI. If you had two DVIs, they can fit about six mini display ports. So it's great if you're going to have lots of different outputs monitors. Uh, display port requires expensive converters to change to DVI, HDMI, or VGA. So you're better off just have, if if you're going to use display port, you're going to need a display port computer and a display port monitor or TV. Um, yeah, even though it's a digital signal, it still needs converters. Components. So you may have seen this on the back of DVD players or other devices. Uh, I know the Wii has a connection thing and I'm sure the other con consoles do. So it's just the red, blue and green connector. So, so cables red, green and blue. Um, it also carries, um, it's either RGB or something starting with Y which contains black and white signal, something related to colour and something related to brightness in three different chords and then that also comes out well. Component max resolution is 1920 by 1080. Um, it's similar to VGA, how if you go up to a higher resolution um, the signal quality is going to degrade. Component is an analog signal. Composite. So composite is this yellow one that you see here, often paired with the red and white one for audio. Like red, right, red is right and left is left. Did that change how the letters? Anyway. Composite has one cable carrying all three colours, so obviously it's quite a low colour um, quality standard. 
Composite max resolution is 720 by 480 at 60 hertz, and composite is an analog signal. So let's just look at S video. So S video has two channels of video as opposed to one channel with composite. So the two channels are these two pins just here and here, and there's two underneath it for grounding, so you don't get electrocuted with it. Uh, S video max resolution is 720 by 480. And S video is an analog signal. Let me try something. Oh, that's cool. Let's just move the mouse. So let's look at coaxial. So it's often used for antennas um, and cable internet or ca pay TV. And uh, coaxial is used to go from one e from the aerial to the TV and has one cable only inside. Coaxial is the lowest quality video connector with a Mac. That the resolution varies. Let's look at digital versus analog. So I've been talking about this throughout the whole video, and you might not know what it means. So with digital, either the signal is there or it's not. There's no degradation. So if if the signal's jumbled up enough, then the signal just won't display. There won't be sort of in between like there is with analog when you're tuning into the aerial and you're moving the antenna around, and then there's like all the white noise and it goes. Psh. So you just won't get that with digital. So there's never an in-between. In so this also means you get less interference and it's going to be of a higher quality, the digital signal. Digital cables are more expensive, however, due to the fact that they carry ones and zeros rather than just electrical currents. So they're more advanced. But the prices will go down um, and you'll notice that high, and you know, you'll know you be more inclined to use digital rather than analogue because um, is so much higher quality. And analog data is sent via electric signals. So let's just look at this comparison table. So DVI, max resolution, we've gone through all these resolutions. Um, so basically DVI is the best, followed by or DVI, HDMI, display port are all equally best. So if you use either one of those, you're pretty much right now and for the future. I know HDMI has recently received a new HDMI 1.3, which which has increased the max resolution. So as time increases, you're going to get higher resolution um, just anyway, just with standard revisions. Um, DisplayPort's fairly new. DVI is tried and true, and it works, and it's digital, so it's pretty good. Also, DVI can easily be converted to HDMI. However, HDMI, while it carries audio, DVI doesn't. So if you convert it, you're going to lose the audio. Uh, VGA it can go up to quite a high resolution. However, it is analog, and it's slowly losing... Traction is the standard, replaced by DVI and these other ones. Uh, component. Component is, yep, so component's next, it's, it's good. Um, component, it's better than composite, S-Video and coaxial, which is the worst. So thanks for watching this technology video today. Hopefully I've provided some insight into all the different video connectors and I've helped you uh, choose which cord you're going to use in the future. Where we're